Twas the week before Christmas, when all through the warehouse, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Okay, maybe a mouse. The boxes were stacked on the shelves with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Chippy was nestled all snug in his bed, while visions of rhinestones danced in his head. And Fallo in his dolty, and he in his cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lot there arose such a clatter, he sprang from his bed to see what was the matter. Away to the bay door he flew like a flash, pulled open the door and twisted his stash. The sun it did shine, causing a lustrous glow, which made Chippy squint and made him say, Whoa. When what to his wondering eyes did appear, but a jolly fat man without his reindeer, with a big old jump so lively and quick, he knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. As he drew in his head and was turning around, down the stairs, Santa came with a bound. He was dressed in all red from his head to his foot, and his beard was all tarnished where rhinestones were put. A bundle of giveaways he had flung on his back, and he winked at Chippy as he opened his pack. With bags how they twinkled, of crystal how merry, gross fifty of rhinestones in hand as he carried. Ten feet of vinyl, wrapped with a bow, to be transferred with heat that can melt any snow. He had true type font packs and a little round belly that could start a business like selling homemade jelly. He had portraits that cut to make designs yourself and he laughed when he showed them to Chippy the Elf. Design wizard monogram fonts and magic pattern packs to help you grow your company and make fat stacks. He spoke not a word but went straight to work with one final item to give with a smirk. A minor league kit is what he chose. And giving a nod, up the staircase he rose. He sprang from the rooftop and gave a quick whistle, for Chippy the elf watched him fly like a missile. And he heard him exclaim as he flew to his peak, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good week. <laughs>